uh, do you know what it's time for? Fun, fun facts. Fun yeah. facts. Come on. Yeah, fun facts about Uzbekistan. So, uh, the capital is Tashkent. Uh, we're probably gonna see uh, gonna see a, a picture of it. It's it's awesome. Uh, oh, there you go. And uh, right on the left, you can see one of the train stations that Tashkent has. Uh, it actually is one of the most beautiful train stations in the world, uh, and uh, they all have unique design and a totally different look. So yeah, if, if you go to Tashkent, that's the place. Well, you should. Certainly with it, since you're gonna go, uh, go around the, the, the place. Uh, let's see. Oh, it has a Muruntau. I hope I pronounced it correctly. A gold mine, one of the biggest g g gold mines in the world. So uh, if you wanna go and dig dig some gold, that's that's a place to go. Oh yeah, looks like this. By the way, awesome. It doesn't look like you can just go and dig there. Of course, I was just <laughs> yeah. kidding. Thank you for uh, implying that. Uh, handshake in Uzbekistan. <laughs> is acceptable only between two men. Wow. Uh, and this is an interesting fact. So, and I, I kind of need time to explain this because it's, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, Uzbekistan is a doubly landlocked country. What does that mean? So a country is landlocked when it doesn't have a, an exit to the sea. But a doubly land, landlocked country is a country that is surrounded with all the countries which none of it has an exit to the sea. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I see. Liechtenstein I see. <laughs> is the only other country in the world who is a doubly landlocked country. Did, did you get what I was yeah, trying yeah. to explain? Dushan yeah. is thinking, he's no, looking uh, at the ceiling. Yeah, I'm just thinking about Liechtenstein. <laughs> oh, Liechtenstein. Oh. Okay, it's not the time for Liechtenstein, yeah. it's time for Uzbekistan. Uh, actually, it's time for Turkey, since uh, we're ready for some fun facts about Turkey. Turkey isn't called Turkey. Did you know that? Yeah, it's called the Republic of Turkey, yeah, since uh, <laughs> 1923. Uh, okay, I got a question for you. Uh, what is the capital of Turkey? One, um, two, three. No, it's not Istanbul, it's Ankara. Yeah, probably if you thought Istanbul, I'm sorry if you said Ankara, it's totally fine, but if you thought it's Istanbul, it's not. So Ankara is the capital of Turkey. And interesting thing is that Turkey exports 80% of the world's hazelnut. So Nutella is made of hazel hazelnut, so if there wasn't for Turkey, we wouldn't be eating Nutella, probably. Uh, let's people. see. Oh, most Turks didn't have surnames until 1934. So I don't know how they were recognized, or how, but they didn't have surnames. It's interesting. Uh, moving on, uh, Istanbul has a tunnel, which is uh, the world's second oldest underground railway. It began its operation in 1875. Another interesting thing. Oh, let's, oh, I like this one. An old Turkish uh, tradition says, a stranger at one's doorstep is God's guest for at least three days. So if you don't have a home, you know, knock on the door, knock on the door and uh, well, you, you're a guest there for at least yeah. three days. Uh, Istanbul is the this. world's uh, only city Spanning two continents, yeah, and an interesting fact, another interesting fact about Turkey is that only 3% of Turkey is in Europe. So that's enough to enough. compete in every um, yeah. good European, enough. good enough, yeah, every European uh, sports competitions, yeah. even in CSGO, yeah. World Championships. Yeah, then again, they're playing against Uzbekistan, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is that. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> Uh, okay. I think that's it. I, I hope you all learned something about Turkey and Uzbekistan and coming.